leave this city and strive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Let's grab some tools and get after it. Literally the next day from what y'all just saw, and we really haven't done a whole lot. We got the rest of their actual house painted, and then we also cut out the rest of the wood and put in the stabilizers and stuff, all just boring, boring things. Over here, Cody got my double barn doors installed, and then we have this crack here for ventilation, as well as a crack here for ventilation. And then the reason they're double barn doors is because it goes along with theme, which you'll see in just a minute. And then I painted these statues and got them in place. I want to put a sign right here, but it's probably not going to be in this video because I want to wrap up this duck coop, get them in here, and I want to spend more time. So I'll tell y'all at the end what's going to go here. But we got the latches and all of the locks on. And then today we're going to be working on installing all of our hardware cloth, which means adding hardware cloth to these windows and then adding the latches and locks to these as well. Cody's pulling out the hardware cloth, seeing how much we need, measuring it all out. And I'm gonna start by taking these doors off so we can get them painted. We put the girls in here last night and they already freaking pooped in it. They didn't sleep in here. We just wanted to get some pictures. <laughs> So while I've been working on making these little barn doors, Cody is framing out the actual door for the coop. Looks good. One barn door down. It's a nice set of doors, babe. Thanks. All right, so I got a piece of wood put in right here to be a door jam, and then we're gonna add a little latch right here to keep it closed. And we'll put hinges on this side and this itself is obviously the door um, i just have one more piece of cross bracing to put in right there to make it a full x and it'll be done okay. what <laughs> it just shot out like four there. staples or something. Y'all, this is not perfect. I cut this out in two seconds. I do not expect it to look perfect. Good thing ducks don't have style, huh? Right. This is purely for my own enjoyment. It's because the paper's dripping by now. We should have okay. wiped the paper. It really doesn't look bad. I'm gonna fix that. Okay, well, I mean, there's a little drip right there, but once it dries, it's not gonna look bad. So what are you doing? So one of the next things that I wanna do is another painting and detail project. I want to make, this is the door that's gonna be to the front of the um, actual house, and I want to make it look like- Well, the side of the house yeah. for us to clean it up. I wanna make it look like a heavy duty crate. Yeah, heavy duty crate with breathing holes. 
listen, if you still have not figured out the theme, you're, you missed an entire childhood, okay? Come on. Come on, babe. Wait, mm. before I start making the windows. All right, since this is obviously gonna take a while, please hold. And we're back. This is the general grid that I wanted, and I don't, I bought two different color grays, this hammered one and then a dark gray. So I'm gonna do a little paint test right here to see which one I wanna use. Yeah, not what I wanna use. We have a dark gray, that's over there. Okay, that's what I'm going for. I kind of want it to look dark, like you're looking into something, like a shadow almost. Also, I know this is not how you're probably supposed to spray paint. Cody yells at me all the time that I'm supposed to do. It's never gonna happen. Tape, tape, and more tape. So, I'm pretty sure you can get the idea with this of what it's gonna get turned into, so I'm not even gonna front. It's obviously gonna be caution tape. <laughs> and while Summer does that, I'm gonna be over here starting to work on this hardware cloth, or hardware cloth, and you can barely even see it. way more things that we need to do to that duck coop but it's just too dark and I don't want to not film it so we're just gonna do it first thing in the morning but Cody wants to plant pumpkins yeah yeah it came in uh, the pack of seeds that we ordered online they're all heirloom seeds it says a hundred days to 100 to 120 days for full season pumpkin so we're too late probably for Halloween but we can still make pumpkin pie true that but I'm gonna plant them anyway, cause I wanna, yeah. I wanna grow a pump. We had to grab the shovel, but I wanted to show y'all, I took all the tape off and that is literally exactly what I was imagining. I wanted it to look like a crate that you're looking through. And then these are how my barn doors oh, came really out. Good. I love them. You like them? Yeah, they look really good. Thanks. Okay, let's go plant this pumpkin. Y'all, look at all of this grass. Cody is growing it. I'm so proud of him. Oh, yeah. It looks so good. The backyard looks good. Basically just use the shovel to Kind of chew up the dirt a little bit and make it nice and uh, soft for the roots to be able to grow through. Now we're going to make a nice little hill. Excuse my dirty dishes, but Cody found this crystal. It's so pretty. Let's drop it. We found all of these crystals since living here, basically. I'm feeling extra lazy tonight, so leftover Papa John's? I think it's Papa John's, right? Yep. Papa John's. Nobody else makes that cheesy bread. Oh my God. The only reason I like Papa John's is that cheesy bread and the garlic sauce. Mm -hmm. Zoom in on the pizza. <sighs> it's time to relax. <laughs> that was a long day. Mm 
we didn't film everything, obviously, but like we had to leave early and run errands, and oh, we, we went to lunch so with my errands. grandma, and then I had to go look at Braden's truck because the wipers weren't working, yeah. and so yeah. It, and then we did the duck coop. So it may it not have day. seemed like a long day, but it was definitely a long day for us. So we're going to watch a movie, eat some pizza, relax, and go to sleep, and see y'all in the morning, so. Oh man, it is a mess from last night. Cody just ran up to the gas station to get diesel because we have to use the compressor for the stable gun, which means we need gas for the generator to turn the compressor on. So he ran up to the store to get diesel and I'm gonna go ahead and start installing these doors. Yay, now the little doors are on. Now I need to do a second coat on this, but we're out of black. I'm gonna try this charcoal gray. So I got one side taped off, and now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, so I got everything taped off, and I'm about to spray paint it all white. I'm going for like red and white warning tape. I'm gonna let that dry and then come back and paint it red. We pulled the hardware cloth up because we Googled it and we wanna bury it just a little bit deeper to make sure that nothing is gonna be able to crawl underneath. So he's digging it right now and now that I have all of this taped up, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this red. So I'm going to lay some chicken wire down on the ground to kind of make a floor that way we have something to attach the sides to and it'll basically make it one big cage underground. That way we don't have to try to dig over a foot deep trench, um, which is very, very difficult in this super hard clay. Well, I put some uh, door jams along the whole trim of the end side so that way once this board is on there it's completely sealed all the way around it even though there's a crack right there. So I think we're just going to put two of these locks, one at the top and one at the bottom to hold the panel in place. That way we can take the whole panel off to clean it out rather than having to flip it up and have something to hold it up and it just getting in the way. He added a bar and I just painted it gray, so that means 
Now, instead of having another lock at the bottom, we'll just pull this out and then you can just like lift it out. I don't want to because it's drying, but you can just lift it out and move it out of the way. And now we are doing the same thing over here. I want to show you all a little tip I figured out for putting these things in. Everybody knows these things are a freaking pain whenever you put them in because there's not a tool to screw that in. So you kind of just got to keep twisting and pushing until it finally breaks through the wood and then it'll screw in. Well, if you just take a screw and run it in there a little bit, pull it back out, it'll go in nice and easy. I went ahead and painted the other sides to these because I just thought it would look better. And now Cody is getting the chicken wire in on the last part of the house. Not chicken wire, hardware cloth. Same difference. Smaller hole. That's what she said. What? I ended up having to take out my cross bracing whenever I put the mesh in and don't really have anywhere to put it back in, but I also don't really think I need it, so we're just gonna stick it. That's not gonna work. I forgot we had that hammered spray paint, so then that works just fine. And then Cody is now attaching the chicken wire to the hardware cloth. Yeah, so we had this leftover twist wire from the packaging from the chicken wire. It basically just keeps it all rolled up. So what I'm doing is going along and probably every four to six inches, I'm kind of twisting it all together that way. If anything were to dig and try and get in, it would end up running into the metal floor no matter how deep it digs, so nothing will be able to get inside. And then this is how the door came out. So he's gonna go ahead and attach it, and then we're going to add the hardware cloth on the back of it. And then we're gonna add plain old chicken wire to the very top. He got the wire on the door and then I went and tied in the chicken wire to this so nothing can hop through or crawl under or anything like that. Now we just got a back filler and while he does that, I'm gonna go ahead and get their actual house ready. We added their pool. We are going to add the filter and all of that, but not in today's video because obviously it's way too long now. Plus we wanna do a little bit more research and figure out how exactly we wanna set up the filter. And we also wanna add rain gutters. And it was about time for me to clean out their cage too, so it's perfect. Also, do you see that they destroyed their freaking food bowl? Y'all are so destructive. Come here, ha ha, gotcha. Ow, bro. It's the claw. The claw. Go ahead and poop now, because I know you're gonna. Come on. Welcome to the new house. Right for the pool. Well, I'd say they like it. They're splashing. Hi, y'all are soaking me. So I guess we're gonna Hi, sit. In, we're gonna sit in here for a minute and enjoy it with the ducks while we can. Because we're probably never gonna be able to do this yeah, again. Yeah, <laughs> I'm. I'm sure in about an hour it's gonna be covered in poop and we're never gonna be able to sit in here again. So they're loving it so far. We are exhausted. 
This yeah. turned into a lot bigger project than we anticipated, but very happy with it. Very happy with it. Um, Have you guessed the theme yet? If you didn't, it's Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh, it's backwards. We tried to throw in some clues there last night, but and in the last week's video, he ended it saying maybe we'll call them the dinosaurs. <laughs> it's Jurassic Park, but my battery's gonna die, and we need to do questions. So I'll be right back. We're doing a Q&A video, so I'm gonna make these questions very duck related, but the first one is from Deborah Harper. She said, maybe I've missed this in another video, but just wondering why the ducks can't use the pond. Also, are you keeping them for meat or eggs? Uh, we don't want to leave them in the pond because there's snakes and fish and other things. And like. it's our water, like our main water source. Yeah, so we don't exactly want to put, want to put a bunch of duck poop in our water source. Yeah, either. yes, we are using them for eggs, not meat. I think we're going to go ahead and get meat chickens eventually, not anytime soon. And then this one isn't really, it kind of is a question, but I wanted to touch on it. It says, from Sharon Smith, it says, do you all know that ducks like to eat grass and love you all? We love you too, Sharon. Um, we do know that ducks like to eat grass and they like to eat lots of bugs and things that are in the grass. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put sod in the coop because right now, as you can see, it's just dirt from digging. So. Yeah, and it's so small that, I mean, it's probably gonna take like probably two pieces of sod. Yeah. So, so we'll then eventually do that, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess the next video is gonna be a surprise, but make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Yes. Thanks, okay. bye. Say bye, girls. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Now we only get one life on